So in the last episode, we broke the motor controller. Yeah, but we can fix it next on Now You Know. So the motor controller, we fried it. We fried the motor controller. So all yeah. I got was a minute of ride time on this beast of a, of a ride on electric motor. You were doing motor. so good. Wow. And right now I'm doing eight. Now you wish you had brakes, right? <laughs> oh! Whoa. Whoa! What was that? What'd you do? I don't know. Something's, Something's wrong. Something's wrong. We broke it. Yeah, we so broke it. So there's no way that this could ever work because you'll just could burn out the motor control. No, we can fix it. We can fix this one? Well, we might be able to fix that one, but we got a replacement. We got to go bigger. This one was maxed out at 20 amps and we exceeded that. One of the MOSFETs quit. It quit in the, in the closed position, which is connected. Mm -hmm. So it gave you that full throttle burst, right? right? You felt that, right? Yeah, and so then what happened was the fuse blew. Yeah, because the fuse protected us. Normally we talk about uh, weak links in the chain. Yeah. And so in this case, this was the weakest link in the chain, but when it broke, it didn't, safely disconnect it, yeah. it pulled even harder even right. more than we wanted that's interesting so, and so that's why we had a predictable break in the chain yeah so if you think about it this is a speed controller mm -hmm. and it failed to control the speed so what it did was it failed in the full throttle position yeah and then the fuse failed in the open position would let go and that's a predictable weak link on purpose, right. whereas this failed and left us vulnerable. Right, so that's why we put that fuse in there. Yes. If we hadn't put that fuse in there, I would be, I would have careened down some hill or something. I would have been uncontrollably. You were getting the full blast of that, yeah. of that battery. I mean, I would have had to have either ripped some wires off or, or switched this into the off position, yeah. um, but also have the wherewithal to do that when I go into ludicrous mode mm -hmm. on a tractor that doesn't have a, a backrest. Okay, so this motor controller is toast. Um, we could probably repair it, but you wouldn't want to put it back in this uh, situation anyway. It was yeah. just too small for the application that we wanted. Right, it's okay. overpowered. So, okay. Whoa, I'm gonna fix it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here she is, Wait, new controller. Whoa, this is yeah. much heavier, much yeah. beefier looking. Uh -huh. Look, it's got it's got ribs right there for cooling. cooling. That's nice. Okay, so this you think is gonna is gonna work a little bit better? Yeah, let, Jesse, look at the power. Let's see. Uh, you got 1,500 watts of power. Yeah. It goes up to 45 amps. Okay, so last one yeah. only went to 20, so this is more than double. Yep. In terms of amperage, mm -hmm. um, and it can it can go up to 60 volts, which is good mm -hmm. because a fully charged pack is pretty close to that. So I mean, I see like a little. Thro like a throttle handle? Do I have to somehow attach that onto this or do I have to use some stupid knob again? No, Jesse, that was ridiculous. We don't mess around anymore. Oh, okay, what do oh, we got? Oh yeah. We got ourselves a pedal. Whoa. Ta-da! Nice. So, yeah, look at so that. This will now be our little... Yeah, isn't oh, that cool? That is nice. It's awesome. So we'll mount that right to the deck. Yeah. And now it'll be like a, you know, a real Look vehicle. It, look, it goes right here. Nice. See, you put your foot here. Ooh. And then you go, you go, Vroom. Well, it doesn't work. <laughs> or wait, better yet. <laughs> All right, well, let's, uh, let's get started. Let's do it. We got it. Okay, so we got our uh, motor controller hooked up. It was a bit of trial and error. Uh, it took a little bit of learning as to which wires, because we, we had a third party controller for that pedal. We weren't sure which wires went where to do what. So, but we figured it out using a bunch of smarts. And now we just need to pull all of the unnecessary stuff off of this thing and we should be able to drive. But we have a 7.5 amp fuse in there. So we expect this to blow. We're just being extra safe by having a wimpy, wimpy fuse on there. 
Ramming speed! <laughs> All right, before we begin, let's just walk through what we did, so that way if we, if we die, you'll know what we did wrong. Okay, so first off, we have our battery pack from Jehu Garcia, or uh, what, jag35.com. Yep. Uh, you can go check him out and get one of these battery packs if you if you need one, or you can build one. There's many options. Mm -hmm. All right, so that comes up through these terminals, right? Comes up through, we've got ourselves a fuse box. I have the fuse right here. Goes to our motor controller. Our motor controller is being controlled by this pedal right here. Then, once you have your power coming in from the battery and your motor controller telling it what to do, out comes from your motor controller to your motor. So underneath me is the motor, which is hooked up directly to the differential of this machine, which means that when I put in this fuse, the whole circuit will be live. I will be able to drive this machine. Now, another thing to keep in mind. This it was nice knowing you. <laughs> This is a 7.5 good work. 7 <laughs> amp fuse, so it's very light, which means that I'm probably going to pop it in the first few seconds of me driving. I have a 15 amp fuse. This will be the second fuse that we try. This controller should be able to go up very high. What we're worried about is the motor. Motor yeah. is yeah. rated for about 20 amps. Yeah, and, and the uh, coupler too. And the coupler, well, <laughs> it's not rated for anything. And you better hang on. The steering wheel too is only held in by plastic. Well, you know. <laughs> it's a riding mower. This is a riding mower. We're gonna tow something. We, well, <laughs> we're gonna see if it drives first. Ready? Absolutely. All right, so Ramming I- Ramming speed! In reverse. Oh, and that was the fuse. So you yeah. heard the fuse right there. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. We expected that. Yeah. More or less. Fuses, sir? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. I already have one. <laughs> All right, so I'm popping in my 15 amp. Okay, trying again, this is test two. So 7.5 amps wasn't enough, we kind of knew that, but we wanted to make sure that nothing else exploded. Okay, so I'm in reverse. I got 20, 25, and 30. There you go. It's working! We go. It's working. It's working. All right, so I'm doing 18 volts and six amps. Okay, not bad. And where's your throttle? Very low. Low? This is not, I'm not gunning it at all. Okay, you're looking good. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pulling about eight now. Go in the dirt. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to do, right. turn it. Look at the differential Whoa, we're working. Up to 14. Wow, amps. look at that. So yeah, turning, that's what killed the last one. Oh. So now this is a bit downhill. I'm only pulling five. How's my tire? Fine. Okay. <laughs> there he goes, he's going off road. <laughs> All right, should I go in the mud? Yeah. Uh, All right, it's working. There he goes. <laughs> he's having fun now, look at him. He's giggling. There seems to be giggling happening. Whoa! <laughs> All right, should we go for speed? Yeah, yeah go for it. Wow, look at him go! All right, we're out here. We got full throttle up, hooked up. I think it's gonna be, he's, He's hauling butt, look at him. Look at him go. It's gotta be faster than the gas one. Oh my God. That's all electric right there. It 
There's no brakes. <laughs> I have no brakes. How's he gonna stop? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't hook up the brakes. <laughs> Oh my god. No brakes. Alright, get out of here. Woo! I'm good. Get in there. <laughs> alright, so. Here, I'll, I'll so, film you. Right. I don't need a primer. No, no, no. Pr quick primer. When you're turning, you're using slow. a ton more amps. Go very slow. Nice and slow. How did you stop it? In my feet. Wow. There you go. <laughs> Remember you don't have any brakes, that's the only thing. <laughs> oh, I blew it. You blew it! You having fun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, it's fun. It's working oh. out really well. You want to do 20? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Brave man. Right. Oh, into the thing? Yeah. That's not on your property. <laughs> Just remember, less power when turning. That's all. Oh, not all right. there. <laughs> That's not what we meant. Oh, ah, screw it. Go here then. Yeah, yeah it's right in here. Too. I want to see how it does. <laughs> it's no brakes. <laughs> oh! You blew the fuse? Yeah. That was not <laughs> smart. Oh, God. I didn't know it was that soft. Okay, all right. All right, pop in a new fuse. What do you got? I got a 25. Do you have a 20 or 15? 25 is good. Okay. Go! No, you go. go My dude. turn? Yeah, man. All right. You're the lightest. Sure, after the mud's on here. Which way do I go? Like this? What, that's it, there you go. Watch your foot, there you right, go. Ready? Slow. Slow when you're turning oh, hell too. Hell yeah! You really, don't floor it, what the? You the fuse. God, <laughs> I told you. What are you putting in? Nothing. Is that a 30? Maybe. Oh my God. All right, here we go. Slow, slow until you're on the tarmac. All right, all right. And less, less power when turning. No brakes! Full oh, throttle! <laughs> I'm falling off the seat! No brakes. You gotta try this. It's so much fun. Ah, that is too much fun. There you go. I wish it didn't sound like a gas engine. There's no brakes! No brakes! No brakes! No brakes! No brakes!
yeah. Oh God, I, I feel an accident coming. Yeah, oh he's having too much fun. You're having too much fun, you're gonna get into an accident. I can tell. <laughs> wow, well this worked. What do you think? I want to stress. <laughs> I want to stress that we, at least I, am not a genius, okay? We're not the smartest people in the world, and yet we got this to work. You need a battery, a motor controller, and a motor. Yeah. Yeah. Fuses would be nice. Yeah. And brakes. And brakes, brakes. would be excellent. But look, we don't even have brakes. We, we made a coupler out of yeah. bolts. Look, you got and a see lawnmower this blade. Look at the coupler. And it it's works. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Come on. Come on in. There we That's go. That's good. So, it worked. Yeah. Good job. How about that? Yeah. So, uh, all we needed was a bigger motor controller. Yeah, bigger motor controller, for sure. And that was it, we got it all working. That was so much fun. So let's talk about why it's so loud. Okay. That has everything to do with our coupler design. There has to be like a, a mechanical scientific name for what that we just style made. coupler. It's called the laziest. Yeah. It's not lazy. It's, it's a the most robust with what we had available to us. So for all those people who are like, oh, I want the sound. It's got the sound. Oh, we got the sound. We got the sound. <laughs> yeah, we got um, the sound. We could do a better coupler. Yeah, oh, yeah. We could. Yeah. We could. We didn't. Yeah. But we could. It's possible I wouldn't even to do. call this a coupler. It was more of a paddle. I think that that was probably the worst part of this design. Yeah. I mean, we've definitely caught a couple corners here and there. Oh my God. In terms of how we mounted the motor as well. But that also had a lot to do with the coupler. If we had a different coupler, that would change the way that we mounted the motor. I mean, this was a get it done setup. Yeah, we wanted to get this done. You know. We want it to be pretty visually apparent as to what we were trying to accomplish. We're not trying to, we're not trying to go for perfection here. We're trying to make this approachable, right? We want you to feel like if you have the materials that you would be able to do this. I'm just trying to think, yeah. if you took apart, if you had an electric lawnmower uh -huh. with the battery and the motor, Mm. and the coupler that would go to the lawnmower blade, yeah. you would have everything you needed. If it were similar, yeah, you would have a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I mean, mean, we didn't really, the only thing we did was add the, add the speed controller. Add the speed controller, yeah. and that was huge. That was fun. That was really awesome, and the foot pedal and, and everything. And you were able to like do a real soft, really or slow. you could hammer it. Yeah. I really like that. Okay. So if there are any components that you were wondering where we got besides obviously this beautiful mower, which is custom, you know, one, one of a kind, you're never going to find anything that looks like this um, at your local yard, yard sale, sale <laughs> junk yard sale. heap, what, what have you. Um, we'll put the links down in the description. So, you know, we'll put a link to this awesome battery pack. I mean, the power oh. that this was able to deliver yeah. was it didn't even flinch. insane. It could have cooked this motor for sure. Easily. So that means we could have upped the size of the motor, maybe got this thing up to a speed that I do not That's want it to get up to. That's a 550 watt motor. It's like yeah. nothing. We could have easily gone up in size. Yeah. Okay, so how, what kind of range do we think that we have on this kind of thing? Okay, so it all depends on how much you're using. So let's say if you're using, let's say, 50 volts, yep. and you're at 10 amps. amps. Yeah, I think that was roughly where we were. Then you're 500 watts. So we were pulling about 500 watts. Right. Um, and that got us up to about 10 miles an hour. Yeah. And this is a one kilowatt hour pack, so we're looking at maybe a 20 mile range. Ooh, yeah. Which for any lawn mower is pretty good. I mean, that's on pavement. Right. That's not on grass. Yeah, that dirt. was level. But it did spike up at some times. Yeah, but that's still really, really impressive for this size pack. Yes. And I mean, especially since we could fit, I don't know, especially if we turned it, you could fit at least four or five in there. Oh, yeah, easily. So that would be, yeah, we're getting up there. If each one is 20 right. and we can fit five, that's a hundred mile range. So, Mr. G. Yeah, what do you think? This is my first electric vehicle that I built. Yeah, you did good. We built an yeah. electric vehicle. It uh -huh. started off as a nothing. Yeah. Because it didn't start. The engine didn't start. And so it was a husk. 
We, it we revived a, it. It's a piece of lawn art. Yes. And now it is an electric vehicle. And I really want to do something a little bit more. I want to do something faster, less janky. I want to do a car. Whoa, whoa, whoa hold on. If yeah. you're going to do a car, you got to start out small. Okay. What do you have in mind? Hmm. Thanks for watching. Join us next time as we continue our adventures on the Conversion Garage.